Because of course, lecturers are tired of what's happening at the standard angle of Lewis. This time around, know what's happening at L1 vertebra. So on this channel, I'm going to be showing you 15 things. Are you up to 15? 14 things that happened at L1 vertebra. Stay tuned, carry your stationaries, and be ready to jot every piece of what we're going to be saying on this channel. See you soon. <music> vertebra is also called that's where the transpyloric plane passes we've talked about transpyloric plane in one of our videos great. so the transpyloric plane is also called Addison's plane by some other authority I'm gonna drop the spelling on your screen so we're gonna dive straight into what happens at L1 vertebra the first thing that you should note what happens at L1 vertebra is that's where you find the ninth coastal cartilage okay let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine so you see the ninth coastal cartilage at the l1 vertebra so we're going to be using this model to illustrate this i don't want you to cram with any mnemonics or anything i want you to always visualize when you're asked about l1 vertebra that's your anatomical landmark so let's take this our model and this is the cut of the clavicle these are the ribs and we said the first thing that you should note is the ninth coastal cartilage is at l1 vertebra so we'll count one two three four five six seven eight nine do you get it so let's take this our landmark let's go straight the next thing is the fundus of the gallbladder so if i take off this liver you know this is the gallbladder and you know you have the body and the front so the fundus of the gallbladder so we're taking that out what we see next is the pylorus of the stomach you get it you're getting it you know you have the cardiac part the body the pylorus so the pylorus of the stomach is also at l1 vertebra that's the third one so let's take out this pylorus of the stomach we've talked about the fundus of the gallbladder so now everything you see here would be an anatomical landmark of the l1 vertebra do you get it so you don't need to cram just have to visualize if i'm removing the liver and I'm moving my stomach. What I should be seeing is pancreas. There are some things that you should be seeing around that region, which will tell you, okay, this things should be in L1 vertebra. But to be specific, this is where the memonics cannot come in. Well, I will not deprive you of knowing those memonics. I'm going to be dropping it on your screen, but let's come back to our illustration. You get it. Now, the next thing you see in that L1 vertebra, that region, is the duodenum but which part of the duodenum the second part of the duodenum still in that angle you see the neck of the pancreas so it's also at l1 vertebra okay so let me take out this the ileum of the kidney is also there you know the ileum ileum is where vessels pass through i think i should be doing this in another video but from what you're seeing the left kidney is upper while the left the right kidney is lower okay in anatomical terms the left kidney is superior to the right kidney so is their ileum so in relation to the l1 vertebra the left kidney is above the l1 vertebra while the right kidney is below the l1 vertebra you've gotten that okay so another thing around this area is the superior mesenteric artery you know the ciliar trunk where okay there's also something there all right so let me bring let me bring this my um, structure here we talked about the neck of the pancreas. There's something I, I almost forgot. Now, this splenic vein, it transverses behind, you can see it. This is the splenic artery and this is the splenic vein. The splenic artery, as you can see, coming from the celiac trunk, and this is the splenic vein. Now, this splenic vein transverses behind this pancreas at L1 vertebra. You get it. So if we have this, as you can see, it's still around that region. We're not saying something away. It's still in that region. So I can take that out. I've said one that I almost forgot. Um, okay, so let's come back to this. Okay, I talked about superior mesenteric artery. Good. That superior mesenteric artery, its origin has a landmark with this um, L1 vertebra. So the L1 vertebra can mark the origination of the superior mesenteric artery. Okay, I'm going to be talking about the portal vein, but I don't think we can see it here let me get this let me get the structure for you good so we have the structure 
and this structure is showing the cut of the liver, the duodenum, the gallbladder, the pancreas, and the stomach. Good. So what I'm trying to talk about is the portal vein. It has a marking with the L1 vertebra. That's where it originates from, not where it is. Where it's originating from, you get. So um, when I'm seeing this again, what can I remember? Good, the duodenal, duodenal flexure is at that L1 vertebra. I don't know if some authorities will show you that, but I know my charousia will tell you it is there. So duodenal duodenal flexure, you can't see it here, sorry, because it's the point where the duodenum meets with the duodenum. You know, after the duodenum, you have the duodenum and the ileum. Good. Please, uh, I think I'm going to be doing this whole uh, model in another video because a lot of complicated things are here that you will need to know. Uh, I can see ampulla of vata, major duodenal papillae, and everything that's flowing through. But the spinter of all this, what is regulating it here? So I don't know if you would or if it will make more sense now that I'm talking. But please just know that the sphincter of OD is at the L1 vertebrae. Yeah, there's something like the cisterna chili. I don't know if I can find it here. But it's the continuation of the thoracic dot, like the upper end of the thoracic dot. So cisterna chili is also in this L1 vertebra. You got it, right? Okay. So don't forget, I just feel if you recall that it's the ninth coastal cartilage that has a marking with the L1 vertebra, you should be able to recall everything that is happening there. First of all, from the fundus of the gallbladder to the pylorus of the stomach, the ileum of the kidney, the left above, the right below, the ileum of the spleen, the origination of the superior mesenteric artery is within the L1 vertebra. You, it will just start flowing, so you guys, you don't need to cram this stuff. The only thing that you might need to cram or memorize is that duodenal and um, duodenal flexion. You might need to memorize the sphincter of OD. You might need to memorize the cisterna chilling. You might need to memorize the conus medullaris. Oh, I'm just mentioning this. I'm very sorry. The conus medullaris, um, some authorities will tell you is within T11 to L3. You get it, but some will still tell you the L1 vertebra is like the landmark of where this conus medullaris is. That's the termination of the spinal cord. Let me leave the big grammar. Termination of the spinal cord is at L1 vertebra, but it varies in individuals, it can be from T11 to L3. You get it, and that's it about events in the L1 vertebra. Please start getting ready. Your lecturers don't ask you, but I'm telling you, they might ask you this time because these guys are. They are tired of saying what's happening at the sternal angle of Lewis, what's happening at the sternal angle of Lewis. But whichever ways, I shared the, the video of what's happening at the sternal angle of Lewis. And, and there was this lecture I met, he said there are about 40 things. I was like, whoa, you don't mean it. But on my video, I think I left you with 20 things that are happening in the sternal angle of Lewis. So after this video, make sure you check that video. I'm going to be linking the video up here for you to see it so make sure you check out that video so guys i think this is where i'll be drawing the cutting of this video ah please just know that you are seeing one cutting i've drawn it <laughs> bye bye make sure you subscribe to this channel like this video and keep sharing we're going to be doing more 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 anatomy videos thank you guys bye